Okay, I don't know how that's gonna go. I bought a new game called Trucking and Logistics Simulation Simulator. So, never played this before, trying to figure it out, trying to learn it and everything. So it's a little bit difficult thus far, but they basically have you to pick what kind of vehicle that you wanna do. If it's a car or a van or whatever, the van costs the most as close to what you can get and actually do so but before I start this video I want to start a little clip or a little recording that I did it's to seven days to die but it's uh, a friend a supporter you'll see her name come up uh, Skittlebutt TV she gifted a sub and she also made a big donation to the channel she comes a lot she's constantly scaring me or using bits and stuff She's a big supporter, so I'm going to do that little recording that I did before I start uh, posting on this here. Okay, welcome back everybody. I usually start off with uh, thanking people and stuff like that in some way, form, fashion with text and everything else. Skittle uh, made a large donation as well as gifted some subs, and I was going to shout her out anyway. Uh, but instead of doing that, I think I want to show one of her clips. She gave me permission. It's hilarious. And if you haven't followed her on Twitch and you are watching Twitch and stuff like that, watching me and everybody else, then drop her a follow. Go say hi. She's a lot of fun. She's nameless family along with me group. So I'm going to fire us up and let you check this out before we start our video. It's good to have a little laugh every once in a while. Uh, I was doing it myself, but she says it's okay to share hers this time. Thank you for your support, Skittle. I appreciate it so much. And let's get the video started. Move stuff around a little bit. They got a little bit off. This game takes up the full screen. So, so it says start engineering. It says to go to Logistics Center. They're found on a mini map. Gotta find out where I am first. Oh. Well, that's pretty convenient. I just noticed this is the logistics center. I hope. Get a mention from the logistics center. They are visible in the mini map as green circles. Select a vehicle. Okay, so we're just going to choose our load. Let's just go with the first one. Alright, mirrors, controls, wiper, good, WSAD, hazard, spacebar, forklift. So, forklift is the mouse. I do know that some stuff is got controls for the mouse. Well, let's give us a try. was using the uh, controller at first, but the mouse should be a little bit easier to use. Not too bad. You 
these worse for us. Cargo's in place. Move back the loader vehicle. Okay, well, it's still got to be set down first, everybody. forklift load car grader in a trailer number two ah okay So it's gonna let me hang it on the side or else what shove it up in there in the back? I do not know yet. Hasn't been too bad thus far though. Like I said, I have seen much worse. How cool is that? Can't use our forklift? No problem. We'll just place it on there for you. They had several guys to pick from, but what can I say? I like choosing a girl. And it seems to annoy my friends. Attach the trailer. I like how it just jumps to the next vehicle. Now, this I've been able to use a controller on. Thank gosh. Pretty easy to use so far. Follow navigation. Okay. And there is traffic in this game, so. I do not know if there is a first person view. Okay, so we got. Whoa, that was the quickest red light I have ever seen. Now I figured out the blinkers. I haven't been able to switch first person yet. Come on, red light. That is blistering fast. Okay, so if you're the maker of this game, technically you should be able to uh, count like two seconds between each light change. Like, if that one over turns red, it should take about two seconds to turn green. 
and then two seconds apart on this. So that would be nice. Let's see. Hold on before I get going too far. I don't know what is full, what is empty, but I'm going to check it right quick. Ah, uh, has a green box full of gas. Stop engine. Refill. So yeah, I did need fuel. It was barely anything in there. So if you're gonna play this game, you might wanna fill up. Ah, yeah. pay attention to what you're doing, JD. my blanker here that's a pretty quick entrance to that I'm glad I got those mirrors up shows on the game seems pretty cool Apparently I'm doing 85 mile, 80 kilometers per hour. Don't know what the speed limit is. I haven't seen it. It's posted in my microphone. It's in my reset camera with three. All right, so that just brings it back to center. Since I don't know what the speed limit is, I'm just gonna keep it around 60 kilometers per hour until I see a sign. I got a little exit coming up. Not this one. I just accidentally found the mirrors. popping up when I was playing with controllers. That was a little hiccup in the game. All the entrances and stuff like that is really quick in. They really need to be a gradual to me entrance. Okay. But while you're dealing with that, I'm gonna go a little roundabout. I don't know why it shows that. That's a little... Okay, they didn't go around the about. <laughs> this is early development. So... I got a Remember, be nice. It shows there. Let me see what the back was. This ain't farmer simulator. What is it? Trucking and logistics simulator. Ooh. Ooh, okay, you two are not supposed to be hyper or in here. Alright. So, since I'm here, that's convenient. There's uh, another load right here.
So, if you pull a trailer as well, the value goes up. This is 1.6 million years for 2,697. Whereas it tells you here your price per kilometer. And this one actually pays the most. Let's do that. I get there it is. I'll record for about an hour. That's why I kind of like to keep my videos too. No luck I'm going to have too much trouble with this game. It's pretty simple. But I'm really big on stuff looking natural. Big time. The mini map is a little bit confusing. I forgot to get my blanker. There really isn't any speed limits that I've seen posted. And if you see the traffic and stuff, it's just a little bit off. I don't know if they're on a spline or what, but you can see right there. You just really got to be careful. The vehicles are piling up and yeah. So this goes this way. Like I said, it's a little bit difficult, but I mean, that's stuff that they can fix. And this right here, everything comes in all really quick. But, in saying that, the game is pretty fun. It's something different to kind of play. The graphics isn't really over the top or anything else, but trolls are working really great for this. I'm able to control the throttle and the speed with my controller by just getting a little bit or taking off a little bit of gas. Try to go along with traffic speed a little bit so that I'm not actually driving over the speed limit. But I mean, <clears throat> for early access game, not too shabby it needs a little polishing but I mean other than that with uh, the AI and stuff like that I would seriously consider doing redoing the roads a little bit everything just happens so fast where was I supposed to got off at I'm sorry I gotta make a U-turn guys don't do this at home. See, like, yes, I missed that exit. I don't know if I was talking or what. Like this, I don't know of any place that goes off that quick. There's no stop sign or yield here. But I'm sure that stuff will come, hopefully. But I mean, we're talking about less than $20. Love you. See, it went from green to red almost immediately. I was going to sit here for a second and show. Because it won't take long to cycle through these lots. There's green, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. That's just too fast. That's too fast progression there. 
As soon as it hits green, it's an immediate change back to red. Say, dead on the other side. And there's green and red. So yeah, they got some polishing to do. Like see her, but I mean, like some stuff about this game really seems uh, interesting stuff. So. So the tanker jobs, or whatever this is, pays really well. And most of it can be done with a uh, controller. Except the forklift, really. I mean, if you figure it out, I'll power it to you. But I mean, I'm fine with using the keyboard and mouse. Once again, I don't see no use to drive across town for another job, but we may do a little exploring. Because I think you can do stuff other than van. These was paying the most before. 1500 Yep. Keep the money rolling in. I always got to remember to start the engine. It's pretty forgiving on the trailer. If you notice, you don't got to come away back. Like right there, it already attached right there. But I'm gonna go a little closer. Okay, so it looks like we're going probably about the same place all over again. I gotta watch that light. These, these lights right here change so bloody fast. There's just no way, unless you enable all these. Mirrors every single time. There's just uh, really no way to see getting on, which is why it's supposed to be a slow progression. No, we're going to place this time. If I remember right, the reason why I chose this game because you're supposed to be able to do other stuff other than <coughs> vans and stuff. But hey, for $15, it's 
not too awful bad. That's the first speed limit sign I have seen. <coughs> So this place is not only a gas station, but it shows a repair symbol as well. So I would advise not breaking a vehicle, I would say. They got gas stations everywhere. No actual bump to the rumble strip. I don't remember to turn my blinker on off every time. Haven't really seen my fuel gauge move for these little <coughs> since I've done this, since I filled it up. I don't know if it's actually even working or not at this point in time. Okay, it says zero XP for, I guess that's a negative. Just show uh, other videos. Holy cheese. Okay. Looks about like a scanning. <clears throat> Seventy thousand, I got seventeen thousand. I don't 
understand the reasoning for maybe purchasing this because it's pretty much going to all the same as this. Can you sell a vehicle? Maybe not. So if I'm gonna make some money, I really need to get up into a larger vehicle. That is a Scania. <clears throat> Much as I would love to have that little truck. That's the only other vehicle I bought. You can also choose a car. Looks like a BMW. Pick up. So I'm just gonna drive. I need to get up to at least 80,000. We'll see what we can possibly do. So it dropped us off the gas station. There's a little ranch on that. I assume that's for damage. So far, we've been pretty lucky. Looks like it dropped us into a new area. We'll head this way and pick up a job. Go through there before it turns off. You think that's an Audi? It may be, heck, I don't know. Well, you live over there, so I'm just gonna agree with you. <clears throat> Even if you might be wrong. All right, but yeah. Yep, I'm still kind of new to the game, so keep having to think about all this stuff. We'll go with the um, most money. All right, E, lights. You can use the joystick for this as well. I find it just about as easy to use the mouse and keyboard. I don't know what the controls would be though to so that is your blinker emergency flashers that's your other blinker That's the horn. Yep, I know. I've had the lights on. I was trying to see what it would allow me to do with the controller then. I've already done one load like this. I was trying to say you can drive it with the controller, but using the controls they also have a multiplayer for this I was going to use the keyboard and mouse it's actually a little bit easier for this part
I guess I'll just do it like last time. I don't know. I say for the work life guess. See if I can use one to push the other one up. Get off of it. It moves to the front. It did that earlier as if I came from the side and it fell off and it positioned it where it needed to be. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's a little bit more forgiving. Of course, if you want it to actually not be forgiven, I guess it's a, not a blessing for you, but... I like it. Better than the forks getting stuck in the pallet or some crap like that. They don't like the switch. Yep, it's magic, man. It's got good camera angles. Like I said, it's easy to drive. Like if you just want to use a keyboard and mouse. It's not that big of a deal. And it's very forgiving. Like, it automatically switch views. But I actually like the controller for driving better. And I was saying earlier before you came in, it's very forgiving on the trailer, too. You just get the trailer halfway close and it's ready to attach. But I don't like that. I don't mind help with uh, loading, but anybody can do that right there. Alright, still haven't seen the fuel come down yet. traffic lights in the game is uh, very quick I was saying earlier too sorry I don't know if it's a mobile game hey I don't think that was legal there maybe where you live but but I mean It doesn't feel high-end, but it doesn't feel like it's not fun either, so. It's something a little bit different. It offers you uh, different ways of playing and working your way up. And I was saying, too, that the graphics isn't, like, totally high-end, but. And traffic lights here in the United States... You can count out two seconds real easy, like thousand one, thousand two. Then it's supposed to go to yellow and stuff like that. Yeah, but most of the lights goes from uh, green to red almost immediately. This one here actually takes a minute. I was checking this slide to see if this does. See, it's almost an immediate change, which is kind of freaking me out a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. It is early release. It ain't like they can't fix it. There's no bumps on the rumble strips. Well, watching the clock, it says on green for several minutes. I don't know. 
That was the first speed bump I went over that actually was a speed bump. Traffic's not lined up with their spline. They was cutting through a lot of grass and areas. And if you ain't got, if you're not running these mirrors, it's dangerous because it's not a slow progression. Those lines are even off. They didn't even lay these uh, tiles right here correctly. But early release, got to keep up the positivity. I think for what it is, it's it's not a bad little game. It's been fun to play. I've enjoyed it so far. Say like right here, this is just dangerous. You can't uh, see traffic without those mirrors up there. It's really quick to come on and off of interstates. I'm sitting here looking at the scenery, so I'm about to go flying off the mount. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the graphics of like construction simulator, but in saying that, it don't really bother me. I actually kind of like it for less than twenty bucks. I may be playing this game for a little while. Pretty good, sir. I can't complain. Uh, Y'all are in chat, so it's going pretty good. I sent you a message if you want to play, I'll let you play this game. Yeah, I'm gonna play this game for a while. Do you gotta work tonight? I hadn't seen you in a couple of nights, so I didn't know what we was doing. Alright. I'm recording this for YouTube. I haven't posted anything to YouTube in a while, and it's kind of in line of simulators, so... Oh, I didn't see that. I was looking at chat. Uh, seen this game come on Steam, so I didn't know what anybody was doing, but as far as that goes, I'm down for about anything. I just need to get some time in. Yeah, I see that. I was watching chat. I sure did, but traffic in this game and traffic lights is a bit crazy. Yeah. There's some other games I'm wanting too. I'm wanting to try Junkyard Simulator. It looks pretty cool. I don't think it's going to be like the next game to play night and day. Because it seems kind of limited on what all that you can do in it. But I think just to kind of relax and chill out, it might be a pretty fun game to do. And 
And I don't know if this is going to be the next be-all of games. I mean, it's, it's fun. It's relaxing. Kind of combines a trucking simulator and stuff. So, it's early access. There's a lot of stuff missing this game. I was telling uh, Syrac, like, I'll show you when I get up here. Did I just miss my exit again? See that line is posted up through all these. I don't like it <laughs> from what I see. I've been watching a lot of people play it. It's enjoyable to watch, but I just don't think it would be cool. I ain't seen Sean in forever. I used to see him all the time. He's very enjoyable. Well, there are some straight lights. You can go fill up the vehicles and everything, but this thing really sips gas. It hasn't really, or the gas isn't working in this. Ah, that was bad, bad, bad. I almost ran right into him. Well, again, it was less than $20 in early access, so I mean, it may be crap, I don't know, but I mean, so far it's been relaxing and enjoyable, so I haven't had no complaints with it. But most of my YouTube is not seven days to die. I barely get any views at all of seven days to die. So it's more simulator based. So I want to try to incorporate simulators whenever I can to try to go along with simulator gameplays as well. I did a lot of testing on the bases yesterday me and uh, Dutch tested one and then I ended up testing it again did pretty good but still I think I can do better 1251 there's not a lot of difference in this I'm just gonna pick this one here this time Yes, <clears throat> I'll show you after this one. What 
the hell? I should have went around the other way. Oh well. I'm gonna drive around in your little pretty decoration area. Nice blinker. Try using it. Like, one of my complaints I was telling Sark and I said earlier is this traffic light. <clears throat> it changes almost as soon as you pull up to them. And then the other is the road connections. Of course, you got to load up these mirrors because if you don't, you're going to get plowed or you're going to cut somebody off. You guys are supposed to turn right. on the right hand lane and left in the left hand lane. I don't know what you mean by that. We mean what type of driving this is. Bad driving on my part. <laughs> you got plum sideways. Yep. We need a slow progress coming into the traffic, people. Ah, I'm gonna die. All right, buddy. Be careful driving.
Not necessarily. I don't. I think they. I don't know if they drive on the left, meant the right or the left. I don't know. Okay, Xander, so if you go to the garage, I think in the video it actually shows them using ships and stuff, but I don't know. You can select a car. I do not know if it's more than one car. You got your pickup. Your minivan, it shows an arrow over here, but I've never got that to. Well, somehow or another, I just brought up a different van. Anyway, you got panel vans. There was another van. I don't know how they brought that up. Oh, so this one you can select it because it was darker. Whereas, I don't really see the difference in it there. That's the one I'm trying for is the rigid truck. So you got dump trucks. You got semis. There's the man. Great big four by four. I like to know where you're gonna be driving that. I assume you're gonna need that to go along with your dump truck. Pretty freaking awesome. I like it. But anyway, I'm going up to this one here. But I need 77,000 to do it. I'm at 26 in my little minivan. Been making some pretty good money, so. Place was on the car backwards. I don't know if you noticed that. My nose itching. I think I'm gonna have company. Guess that was okay.
Not a lot of difference. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I like how when you get close to an area, it will actually give you an arrow where it is you go. Say if I pull away, the arrow comes around. 
That's pretty awesome. Saves on a little bit of confusion. I didn't notice that earlier. Oh, that was pretty forgiving. All right. I'll just take these. They're a lot quicker. The time you load up and everything else, you can actually have. Be already on your way. Going across. Oh, you scared me to death. At least it is in me different, uh, different places. Ah. <laughs> I was in a daze. I would just kept on driving. Fishy, little fish tail in there. You can actually drive this thing pretty fast. I don't know what 95 kilometers per mile is, but. This thing about it is you tap it and you gotta go places the hard way. Rick. I didn't lose the load.
This thing's been pretty forgiving. I'm gonna try something. See if I can just kind of pivot it in there. Yeah. Alright. I want to edit this down. I send it up to YouTube. It's not bad. I mean, graphics. Equivalent to something maybe like construction simulator along that line. Uh, traffic lights. Needs to be a bit more accurate. Coming in off interstates. A little too fast. You might want to, if you use a controller, push down and on your left stick and bring up some mirrors. Shows they are adjustable, so I mean, you can make them smaller or larger, kind of fit your needs with the mouse. Uh, the forklift was a little bit easier to run with the mouse, but for less than $20, it was fun. So you can work your way up. Um, when you go to the garage, we found this. This is grayed out, which means you're not gonna get anything, but pickups, this is your options in pickups. You can spin your camera view by using the left click. You got different minivans. I did not know that before. That one's a little bit bigger. Then you got your panel vans, which just looks like a different color. If you notice the the outline of this truck right here you'll see that this truck looks a little bit bigger fuel consumption is 81 curb weight 2300 you see it change so it's a little bit uh, beefier of a truck all the loading and stuff in this has been super simple this is actually what I'm gonna try to work my way up to in my playthrough uh, it does have a dump truck option. Here's your semi rigs. It's got beautiful scanning. Of course, you can change your colors. Of course, they're a little expensive. I do not know where you would drive at on these streets at. That's kind of a monstrous. I guess if you just got so much money you don't know what to do with. But also I noticed that you can purchase a forklift, so maybe do some jobs just with forklifts. Do not know how much the forklift is. Oh, it says drive, so you technically already own it. Shows that you already own this one as well, you can drive it. And this one. So, therefore, if you're doing a job that requires this truck, it'll already be on site then. So, that's pretty cool. So, with that, take care and have fun, everybody.